Welcome back to Talos 2. Apparently the game didn't save since, I guess, after that. The virus was here, right? But since reading this, I guess we just have to run out. And yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I had any anything big happen afterwards. We just like talked to Byron who was outside and now I guess Byron is gone. And we just asked him about uh, Miranda. Right? So kind of strange that that didn't save afterwards, but oh well. This looked a little, like, suspicious. I'm almost thinking, like, the witness... The, the witness mindset of just seeing something, like, hmm, that's... That must be something. Where does this go? Over to seven? Eight? Oh no, the Golden Gate thing, yeah. Still only two on that. So, what have I even done here? We went into the secret lab, we solved the, uh... the Sphinx riddle thing. I've done one, two, and four, is it? I guess we can see that over here. No, only one. I've only done two and four? I didn't do one? Hello. And now you don't want to talk. What? Wasn't it Byron I talked to? I guess maybe it did save after the Byron conversation, but only the information, not the fact that I had run out from the secret lab. I'm not too sure. Okay, well, yeah, I guess we have to do one. So surely this one will be Simple and easy and just kind of like a tutorial for the whole driller mechanic. Quantum tunneling, yeah. So, we can do this, but then can't take it out. Which I guess is just kind of what that's supposed to show. But then we can do it here, get another driller. Take that out, and then we can like ferry this one out like this. Yeah, you can reach pretty far. And then, like, drill here. And you can even, like, ferry them through. Yeah, okay, so, like, two drillers is definitely gonna be pretty powerful in that sense. Yeah, and you had to do that. We need two drillers here. Alright, makes sense. That's a very simple level. Managed to extract the... an audio file from 1K's data stream incident. It's hard to be sure oh, there it is, yeah. because it's just a fragment, but I think it's some kind of log or diary. We finished a new lab today. Oh. Some processes are still harder than others, but energy output was up 2,000%. It's Hi, incredible dear. how each leap forward enables another. The next iteration of the machine will... Well, what? So as we suspected, someone well, what? was experimenting here. But experimenting on what? What was this machine they were building? Maybe it's whatever powers the megastructure. Maybe we're the machines that they built. Hi, Jakut. Sorry to interrupt your, your work there. I can't stop thinking about Miranda. A new person not born in New Jerusalem? Maybe. Can you imagine that? Oh, I have the, like... The regular like cursor again. Out. Yeah, what's going on with that? I've noticed that happening sometimes. Like, that's not supposed to be the case. You're supposed to have a unique cursor in the game. Uh, after we're done here, maybe I can try, like, alt-tabbing or something. Uh, what did he just say? I wonder what it's like to be her. I don't know. I, I don't know. It could be any of these... Depends on who created her, I suppose. Does it? Does it really matter who created her? It just depends on on her, I guess. How she is, if she's living or whatever. Guess I'll just say this. Free in in what way? I don't know. Unencumbered by society, by expectations. Yeah, sure. Is that how you feel about New Jerusalem? Like you've been forced into a role you didn't want? I mean, kind of. Kind of, it's like, 
everyone's just like, oh my god, you're 1k, you're the last of us, and I didn't even, like, get to choose my own name or anything. Everyone's like, you know, putting me not really on a pedestal, but, like, definitely as a big deal and not just one of the many, the 1,000th. Yeah, there's, again, a lot of ones, I want to say. Like, turning me into the fulfillment of the goal robs me of my chance to be me. I do agree with that. And then being born as number 1000 wasn't exactly my choice is also true. I enjoy the attention. Yeah, probably one of these. I don't think it robs me the chance to be me, so I guess I'll just say this. Like, I, I didn't choose to be 1K. Nobody gets to choose the circumstances into which they're born. You could have been number 12 or 400, and that would have presented challenges of its own. And yet people treat me as 1K, though. Ask something else? What do you make of these labs? They're very different from the rest of these structures in that they serve a clear purpose. Everything else is kind of surreal, but the labs are places where people lived and worked. I don't know what that means, but I think it means something. That's all. And yeah, I don't know if I didn't notice, but I didn't see Jakut, like, glitch out at all, like, jerk around a bit. Also, we never read this, did I? No, I did read this. Wasn't there some terminal I just, like, left for now? Yeah, we did read these. Yeah, right, there was one, like, over by 7 or 8 or something that I just left for now. That's fine. So yeah, here's two... Let's check out three. Also was told that apparently, yeah, there's like basically just two lighting states per level. Oh, oh, I see. So we have to connect. Ah, so that's how we're going to get like green to Pandora, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, there's like two lighting states per level and it just changes when you like go between areas. It's kind of weird, because, like, now we just have this lighting for the entire time I'm here. If I have to, like, leave this area if we want to, like, get a different set of lighting. Oh, is that going... No, that's the Sphinx one. It's just a little strange that it's not, like, a day-night cycle. It doesn't advance naturally. It's only when you travel. And you kind of won't travel much normally, will you? Like, there's no reason for me to not be here and go somewhere else and then come back and see the different lighting, so... It's kind of strange. You just kind of choose which lighting you prefer in a level. Pe Alcatraz? Okay, I what is going on? To talk to you. This, uh... Vision you had, the yes. data stream overload. How did it feel? So, Byron works normally. But has a lot of, like, glitches when you talk to him, where he just, like, resets his animation and cuts around in a strange way. Alcatraz just, like, freezes up every now and then. I don't know, is this, like, intended? Are they supposed to be weirdly glitchy? Or is it just a glitch? Uh, I guess it was unpleasant at first, then beautiful, because it's like, oh shit, what's happening? I'm being hacked. And then it's like, oh, actually, this is kind of cool. Sure. Don't you worry that maybe your first impression was correct? And after that, your mind was basically being hijacked? Yes, that's what I was worrying about. Hmm, all of these are good. Felt more like my mind was being expanded. I wasn't hijacked, I think I made contact with something. Well, how would you know if you were hijacked or not? No, I wasn't hijacked. Says the, like... The person that isn't even 1k anymore have been replaced, I guess. Just don't take this too lightly, okay? We're sturdier than our ancestors, but a mind is still a fragile thing. Okay, I want to ask you about something else. Go ahead. That's all. Cool. So where is this going exactly? And will it be for the Pandora thing, or is it for something else? Because, yeah, we have this going to here, and that goes in there, and that definitely has a clear line of sight to here, so I guess that's it. I guess we will not be able to get a red, a green laser 
here, probably. And yeah, there's the terminal. I'm gonna wait with that still. So yeah, like, this is the bait. You think, oh, it's gonna be from here, but it's not. It's actually, like, was it number three? That is gonna have a green laser? So, I mean, that seems... Wait, no, but then... How would that work? Because this isn't connected up to Pandora. I guess you would then need to go into eight. There's probably a connector in eight, but no way to get a green laser. So we can still connect that to Pandora, but we can't make a green laser in number eight, I would imagine. Something like that. So where did this start again? Right there. Yeah? Yeah, this certainly looks like it's gonna come from three. Ooh, I was looking over to see how long I've recorded. What was it called? Bishop? Back up. Thought it was like a chess move. Yeah, we have connectors, we have green lasers. Yeah? I mean, I assume that's it. That's pretty simple. And we can take that and then open this up. And this doesn't, like, get blocked or anything. Yeah, that doesn't get blocked in the same way. What's that? Oh, a ladder. And a converter. So now this is unnecessary. Well, I guess not later. Yeah, but now I could do... If we get another con connector... I can't do that. No, but I can do this. Because if I get another connector, we can, like, hold this open on its on its own, which I guess is what we're doing. Yeah, so connector here. Now I can do this again. Just open that. Hold this open, but then... Hold it open. Oh, no, you can't do that. Damn. Yeah, I would have been able to hold this open like that. So in that case, how do we... And we can't do it on this side either. So what does that mean? How do I get green then? I guess... No, I guess we are using... Two. But how is that going to happen? Like, if I could have this here... Yeah, okay, wait, wait, wait. Take this and just connect it to this one as well. And keep the connections and then do this. Now we can take this away, right? And it still holds open. And then now we can open this up. Take the RGB converter, get blue and red, and get it to green. Yeah, that's kind of tricky. Alright, four done. done 1K. Keep going. Thanks, Byron. And then we send this over here. Damn it. We send this over here. Oh, private message. Okay, what's going on? Connecting you to a friend. Oh, it's it's Doge again. I've re relayed your responses to my friends, and they have reached certain conclusions regarding your character. Would you like to hear them? No, I have entirely lost interest. <laughs> now, you're new, so let me fill you in. Your arrival marks the, m the moment of New Jerusalem's maturity, and there are differences of opinion about what it ought to become. Naturally, there are people working quietly behind the scenes in an advisory capacity, trying to guide our city to prosperity, people who know things which would only scare or confuse the average citizen. I have five such friends who expressed to me their interest in getting to know you. Tell me their conclusions. Who are these people? I can't yet tell you their names, but I can tell you a little about them. The first is an engineer by trade, tends to see the world as a puzzle to be solved. So, the like, the not- Melville Engineer, the one that stayed behind, maybe? The second is a scholar of some repute. Is it repute? Repute? I don't know. Thinks the big questions have answers in our code. 
the third is, well, it's hard to pin down. A practitioner, let's say, of the esoteric arts. Haven't we met someone like that too? The fourth is a member of the political establishment. That's probably the, like, right-hand man, right? That was also left in the city. Whoever that was again, I remember there being someone in that boardroom. And the fifth, well, the less I say about them, the better for everyone. So, is there someone you think you would... What? Make a good match? What do you mean? I just have to, like, choose? I guess just the one that's hard to pin down, or the mysterious fifth one, because that, that sounds interesting. Oh no, the pin down is just, like, someone that's weird and quirky and artistic, I guess. Yeah, maybe the fifth, but, I mean, I'd rather hear which is most interested in me. Your answers to my questions and our observations of your behavior elsewhere has given us a massive amount of data. It's clear there's only one person that I should put you in touch with. You've shown a pragmatic understanding of our society's fr fragility and respect for preserving the institutions which support us. Your friendship would mean a great deal to my acquaintance in the political establishment. No. He wants what's best for the city, but is cautious of changing things too fast. Are you happy for me to put you in touch? No. I wanted someone else. That may be, but no one else wants you. It's perfectly clear what kind of person you are. You may not like it, but I ad advise you explore it. Would you like me to connect you or not? I've had enough, don't c contact me again. Fine, I guess we'll be a fucking politician. Great. Okay, I'll send an invitation. Introduction in due course. Not what it seems. Get involved behind the scenes. I wonder exactly what, like, comes into play here. Obviously the, the interview with Doge, but in terms of, like, the other actions I've performed, how I've acted in other, other cutscenes and talking to other people and stuff. I don't know. Seems interesting. And then we didn't have anything new here. Alright. So now, uh, where's, like, number seven is, like, this way. I think that's the one we were... No, it's number eight we're going towards. Just to, like, take a shortcut here. Oh my god. A mysterious deer that just vanished. And yeah, there's some stuff up there as well. There's definitely stuff, like, in this region that we haven't explored. But yeah, here's this one. Should I just do eight then? I'm just curious about this Pandora thing, because yeah, like... There's no connector sitting around here. There's no connector, like, on this mountain. Nope. So yeah, it has to be that we can connect from here, I imagine. Because this is in view in here. Let's just go in. Yeah. Seesaw. So we just do this and that. There we go. There we, there we go. Hooray. And this was seven, the hunter yeah. does not hunt because he is hungry. He hunts because he revels in death. It is that always true? I'm not so sure that's always true. You know, we have some stuff over here as well. Lost level, I suppose. Yeah, this must be a lost level. Might as well like yeah, get that on the map. And I'll just leave it for now, but yeah, let's have a bit of a look around for the last couple of minutes. We can't really, like, start anything major anyway. I thought that was, like, smoke. You can kind of climb things more than in Talos 1, from what I remember. I feel like everything was very slippery in Talos 1. I guess it probably is here too, it's just like, that was an exception. Yeah, like, this is more what I... remember.
no secret or easter egg hidden behind here? Human artifact or something? Nothing? Well, that's a shame. This looks a little suspicious going up here, but no. Yeah, very much seems like any time you see these rock walls, you're not supposed to try and get up them. But I'm sure you can. And I just always want to, like, try and break out of levels. We have to, at least some... at some point in Talos 2, I gotta get out of bounds in a, in a world. And preferably, like, drop out of the world or something like that. That's, like, a must for this series. I mean, I guess getting out of bounds in a level like this wouldn't really matter, because it's surrounded by a death pit. So it's more... What is this? Oh yeah, the golden gate thing. It's more the levels that are, like, inside of something, with, like, walls on the outside. Those are the ones you want to, like, break out of. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen anything. I mean, we saw the Stratton thing, I guess. Stratton log, but... Yeah, no other, like... Human artifact... Or pickup. I mean, I guess there was the... The spark. Prometheus spark, as well. I would imagine there's, like, a couple of human artifacts in every region. I wonder if you can, like, cheese this. Somehow break out, like, get a connector out from a different level and place it here and connect it to something. Probably not. Yeah, here's where Stratton was. And then... We should have enough to get one bridge completed here. Yep, I mean, sure, let's do that. Yeah, definitely make use of it this way. That's that's worth it. Wait, what do you mean? That's the only way we can do it? Oh, I see, because, yeah, the, the green is on the side there. Well, that's kind of awful. So maybe we want to do, like, yeah, this makes more sense. Uh, or, like, that. Yeah, if we do, like, this and then this one, it'll be on the side, so it actually goes forward. So I guess that's kind of, like, the thinking you need to have. And that should be fine. And rotating doesn't matter here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Anything on this little island? Just gonna have a look around around the edge first. Four more, and that's the end. Yeah. Here we go. Concept art? Or something? Hold on. Let's take a look at that next time. So there's definitely something here. But I don't know, like, how many of them there are. So we'll look at that more next time and then go back. I probably want to explore a little bit more before we get into levels. Like, again, over here by the, like, six, seven, eight type area. And just, like, see. So, yeah. Neat so far. I'm liking the uh, sort of meta puzzles with, like, doing things with the levels, like the levers and connecting lasers out of levels and stuff. That was always, like, one of the better parts of Talos 1 as well. So far, they're very simple, but I'm sure they're gonna step it up and be really sneaky later on. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.